Martin Villa Mine, Messina, South Africa. A single quartz crystal with a little uh, shot of edgewhite in it. Now, uh, my wife does the, the color spots on these guys, so I'm going to see if I can see the color here. I think maybe we're looking over there, but what I'm going to do is let's see if we can get in a little bit closer. So, a terminated quartz crystal, uh, length to length, you're looking under 4 centimeters, or maybe just un on 4 centimeters. So, pretty, pretty large crystal. Let me just get this in focus. It's struggling a bit with the white today. Ah, there we go. So, I'm going to move it very slowly to give you an indication um, of the color. Of course, what we're looking for here in this one would be the turquoise color, not to be mistaken for the gray. The greenishness here would be some hematite as an inclusion, uh, I mean epidote and maybe piemontite. What's interesting, the epidote crystals run from a green into a red, so the red section on the epidotes would be uh, a piemontite. It's going in here. I think the color would be a mandy around this section. Let's just see if we can zoom in a little bit closer. I don't have a zoom facility on this particular camera with the, with the videos. Um, Quite, quite lovely. All the way from the Arts and Villa uh, mine, Messina, South Africa. Of course, uh, no longer being mined. The elusive uh, Agiwite included quartz. Quite, quite lovely. That. Let's see if we can get it in focus. Maybe if I move it slightly further away. Ah, there, there. I can see the color. That little edge over there. And of course, on closer inspection, you'll find it's little bushes of, of needles. And depending on the intensity of the bushes of the needles, it would be the intensity of the color. 